my God will provide and in the still and quiet my God will provide all oh, in the still and God will provide. Today, I just want to talk about timing. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1 says, To everything there is a time, and there is a season for every activity under the sun. And it's a very nice day out here. It's spring, of course, and it looks so beautiful. Um, the, the, what is just coming to my mind is um, timing. I'm praying that we don't miss our season. And I'm praying that we don't step out when it's not time to step out. Uh, for instance, the caterpillar you just saw, you know, it, it, it's, it's vulnerable. It's in a vulnerable state. That caterpillar could say, well, why am I still a caterpillar? When other butterflies are being celebrated, you know, if you see a butterfly, you got to be happy. But right now, you see the caterpillar, it looks like, you know, it could easily be stepped upon. It could easily be, you know, flung away or even killed. But that is the timing that God has set. And that timing says, hey, you have to be a caterpillar until it's time to become a butterfly. And it has to wait. And it has to keep doing what it's doing. It has to keep eating. It has to keep, you know, just doing what it's doing. So also in the events of life, we have time i pray today that we will not be impatient you know sometimes as 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 as, as god's uh, creatures we can become impatient because you see other people being celebrated mm -hmm. like the caterpillar may see the other butterfly you can wonder why am i not a butterfly why but something is in process if you can only be patient it will get there it will fly higher but unfortunately, a lot of people would miss it in the caterpillar stages. They would never get to the stage where they blossom. And that's simply because of impatience, haste. You know, Noah had to remain in the ark because the water had to recede. After the flood, there was so much water. If Noah said, I'm getting out of this ark, I want to save the world. Due to passion, he could have missed it. Passion sometimes makes people miss out on their destiny. Passion. Passion is not enough. Preparation. Feed yourself. There's a lot out there, brethren. There is a lot out there. It's, you know, if God puts you in a cocoon right now, in a cocoon stage, maybe you're just like, you know, in a nest. Stay there. It could be your home church right now. You're like, I want to go to the nations. But right now, God is saying, stay in your home church. Or it could be, I really want to get married to this person. But right now, God is saying, why don't you prepare just a little more time or you may be saying, I want to do this, I want to do that. And God is saying, just wait, just a little bit more patient. I want to equip you with the skills needed so that you don't retreat in battle, so that you don't step out and then you go back. In the Bible, there was a twin being born and his name was, I believe it was uh, uh, Perez and there was another twin. And he stepped out and stepped back in so that you don't step out and step back in. You got to test the waters. You got you to gotta wait patiently on God. The Bible says that blessed are the, the meek. You gotta be meek. You have to wait. Waiting is maturity. Waiting is gathering the necessary skills for the next level. So Lord, right now we receive divine grace to wait on you. When you say be still, let us be still. When you say just prepare, just feed yourself. When you say, when you say just be praying. You know, prayer is not a waste of time. Even praying in your room, you're not wasting your time. Lord, we want to wait patiently on you. We receive that grace right now. To be patient, oh God. I receive the grace for the body of Christ. We are the church. We are the bride of Christ. Sometimes God is saying, just wait. You could also be in your village as a missionary. And in your mind, you're like, I want to go to the city. And God may be saying, just wait. To you, it may look like there's nothing here. 
but to God. Those souls are precious. And God is saying that I'm bringing light from it. I'm speaking light to the world right now, oh God. I'm asking for the grace. I'm asking for grace for your servant. We have many men and women of God. We are tired. We are like, when is the manifestation? But God is saying just patience, through patience and faith, inherited what was promised. We receive divine grace to be patient. We receive divine grace to inherit. We receive divine grace to possess our possession. Oh my God, we pray for grace. We would not abort. Sometimes you abort your destiny through the things you say. The Bible says they did not enter his rest because of their unbelief. God vowed. He says, you are not entering my rest. So the children of Israel could not get into the promised land simply because they were so full of unbelief. They were grumbling. They were complaining. They were angry. They was like, what is this? Oh God, when it doesn't look like it, when it doesn't feel like it, let us be patient. Let us know that have faith god is at work you might be praying for your son or your daughter and you're like i'm praying for this child but look at what i'm seeing god give us that faith it's not what we see it's what you say and you said we shall be saved and our family and by faith we key into it we receive deliverance let there be light in our generation in jesus